So. Hey, all right. So now that we uh, understand what we did wrong, let's go and change that. Right, right, right. So in here, um, if you could please step off the side for a second. Sorry. Um, kicking me out the video. Yeah, I know. Sorry about that. Ha! Huh? There's a new <laughs> person in town. Okay. So we'll change this then and make this sign. All right, and then that should be everything that we need to change. So let's try and play this now. And so if I step off the side here, you can kind of see it. Whoa! It looks like there's something wrong. Like even when I stop pressing any buttons, it looks like it's still moving quite fast, and that doesn't seem right. Could it you? Actually, seems like it's moving faster. Oh yeah, even so. So, um, here I'll let you take over. Let's see if we can uh, debug this situation. Yeah. Um, so, similar to what we had in accelerate the blob and enforce the blob, if we if, if we're not pressing on buttons, we don't want nothing to happen. So let's set our delta delta v y equal to zero. And this should solve our problem. So let's play it. Click the screen. Let me move out the way. So if I press down or press up, there we go. We have a good ship. But if we press down, we don't have nothing going on. There's nothing will happen if we press down. We want, we want to have a reverse thruster going on and when we play our game. So let's figure out how can we get a reverse thruster going on. So let's pause it. Let me scroll down and let's figure out if we press down arrow, we should have a reverse thruster. So Liv, do you have an idea how to get the reverse thrusters? Okay. All right, so we want to add a down arrow, the reverse thruster, right? So probably what we'll want to do here is want to delete this comment and then we'll take the code for the up arrow and or I could just uh, here I'll do just write it out this way however if we think about this in terms of graphs right if you're you know accelerating in the positive x direction you know you're going forward here uh, you know, again, think about it in terms of graphs. Well, think about it. How, if we're moving in the positive direction, how would we move, you know, in the other way? And that would be to, most likely we'd need to then throw a minus sign in front of it so we can move in the opposite direction. You know, again, if you're thinking in terms of graphs, so if we then for this throw a minus sign in front of it, and then here we'll just do this real quick and then and then again for the accelerating in the y direction we will do minus f thrust times sine theta divided by mass I cannot spell mass. Okay, there we go. And then do delta vy. Okay, and then that should give us the reverse thrusters we want. So we'll go ahead and play that. And then see, so this is forward. And so now let's try going backward. There we go. And then slow down. All right, yeah, so there so, we go. It's finally time to actually make our game, actually have the ash or the planet toys come around and crash into us and avoid us before we can actually do our multi-dimensional space travel. So <laughs> that's the whole point of this, right? So let's go back to our main page and um, scroll to a particular section, blase, 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 um, right here. 
steps in. So let's click here. And if you click here, you'll notice that we don't have none of the changes that we had in our previous, um, where we were just at, we don't have none of the changes. So we have to do the same thing over again. So let me quickly run through here and um, let's get rid of that. Let's quickly make all these changes again. Let's see if I don't make a mistake. And Viv, uh, Liv here can help me because I'm bound to make a mistake. Yeah, that's what we call pair programming. Working together. <laughs> Trying to get it done. Yep. So let's quickly run through here. So as you know, we don't want no button to be pressed. We got set delta vy to equal to zero. We changed our update location. We're just going to go through it real quickly. Scroll down. Okay, to change the direction of the ship, we got to change these values. So it's 0 0.1. If we want to go we press the right arrow, negative 0 0.1. Okay, so we press up arrow. Ah! <laughs> That's my uh, bird sound. So. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> so we uh, changed. So we learned previously that if we have. To go in the y direction, we need to have sine of theta. Okay, divide that by the mass, semicolon, delta v y. Is equal to the acceleration in the y direction. Times dt, blase blase stuff we already know. Tell me something new. We want to see uh, planetoid, so let me hurry up. We can paste that. And remember, we want to go in the opposite direction, so we just got to add a minus sign, similar to what we did, and move the blob, accelerate the blob, force the blob, just need to have a minus direction. So this should work. So let's save it, press play, let me get out the way. Oh, look at them planetoids. So, Whoa, man. Oh, man. So, you died. So, as you can see, I'm not really a good gamer. So I started over, and um, let's just think about what would be the correct um, mass of our ship in order for us to actually um, be successful with this game. Because right now, I'm just, I'm just, I'm really terrible. So, Liv, can you help me figure out the correct mass to help me actually uh, win the game? Yeah, definitely. So it seems as if we have a little bit of trouble when our mass is looks to be uh, 3. So let's try and change that. Maybe how about we try setting it to a mass of uh, 1 first. Let's see what that does uh, to our performance in the game. So we'll just do that and then hit the screen. So, so far, it's a little bit tricky. It's like you are really, really fast. Oh, yeah, no, I, that was uh, pretty bad. So I think you know, going a little bit faster, it's harder to control um, or harder to like not run into things when you're going so fast. Um, so let's, let's try to you know, increase the mass instead. So let's try, let's just try 10, see what happens. So we put that in and then step out of the way. Oop, keep doing that. Press play. Ooh, okay. So I think the 10 might almost be too much. Let's try that one more time. Ah. I didn't, uh, sorry, I didn't even click it fast enough because you have it? to, again, you have to click the screen before you can actually control it. So I, I don't think I was even fast enough to get there. Let's try one more time. Okay, so 10 might almost be too slow um, to outrun the giant orbs. So maybe let's try with a nice middle number. Now that seems to be 
That seems better. To be perfect. Yeah. Oh, just wow. the right. It still might be a little bit too slow, but um, I feel like it's uh, the this right amount. Great. So I hope this is our version of the classic 1980s um, asteroid game. And um, another cool, there's cool things you can still do within the planetoids um, thing. You can add a projectile, which is very, very fun. You can add a path, as we did in Accelerate the Blob and Luda Blob. There's plenty of more things you can do. We just gave a little bit of a um, little bit of a walkthrough through the major components of the game. And um, let's see if I can do better than live last longer. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you can um, learn a little bit about trigonometry and our acceleration. And we hope to see you back for oh. more. And as you can see, Liv is the king of gamers, so, or the queen of gamers, I'm sorry. I and, wouldn't... Um, please uh, come back to Steam Coding and uh, see you soon. Yeah, thank you very much. And thank you for watching.